Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can use an insert a symbol and then use it in a data set with conditional formatting to add a, a new sense of visualization to your table. So the first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to get the symbols that I want inserted into a specific cell to the right of our data set just so I can understand what the actual value of the character is in the back end. So if I go insert for this X and insert for this up arrow and then I close the insert uh, tab or symbol tab from the insert menu um, I can then go back over to home and then just select the standard font instead of wingding and I go to Tahoma for example and you'll see that we use X and Y so X is the X and then the Y for wingding is actually that increase arrow so now that I know that I can just copy that information and what I'm going to type is equals if in this cell P3 and then select O3 and if that is equal to 5 or as we'll say greater than or equal to 5 we're going to show the value Y I think it was Y. Yes, it was just a lowercase y. And then if not, it's going to be the value x. Now, you'll see that right now because it is in the font type Calibri, it's only showing up as the actual value x, and then it would also show up as the value y as I highlight this, and you see that 5 is a y. Now, the next thing that we want to do is highlight that entire column go up into the top uh, font in the home uh, on the home tab of the quick access ribbon we're then going to select the down arrow and then we're going to go all the way down to wingding and there it is so now you see that we've actually inserted the values and used conditional or we used a if statement with the wingding formula or the if formula and wingding character to give a sense of visualization to this table. Now to use our conditional formatting here what we're going to do is select conditional formatting from the home tab and I have all of these highlighted. I'm going to actually start in the first cell so I'm just going to select P3 then we're going to head over to conditional formatting and I'm going to say highlight or, yeah, we're going to say highlight cell rules equal to actually we're going to use a formula, I'm sorry. So we're going to go back to conditional formatting. We're going to go to manage rules actually to new rule. Struggling here. And then we're going to go to use a formula to determine which cells to format. And then from here we're going to type in equals so if this cell is an important thing here to note is taking off the dollar sign which is the absolute value of the row so that when we copy this down it actually copies to the other cells and we're going to say equal to or, or greater than or equal to 5 we're going to show this font in a green and then we're just going to hit OK. And then likewise, what I'm going to do now is apply some more conditional formatting, another rule. So new rule. Go to a use formula. And then we're going to type in is equal to the cell to the left, 03 in this case, is less than five and then we're going to go to format we'll select the color font red and then we're going to hit ok and perfect so you see that that has turned into the color red now i'm going to copy this cell in particular p3 and then i'm going to select all of the cells below it in that column and then i'm going to right click and then we're just going to use the paste option formatting and there you have it. So I've copied and pasted the actual formatting and then you see to the right now that our wingding character in this case the X and the 
increase symbol are showing as green if the person has a 10 or 5 years or greater. And if it is a person that has less than 5 years, it's showing up with a red X. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave your comments below. We will see you next time.